So I found something else at the expo that we completely fell in love with, and that is the Hest mattress. With a rooftop tent, it's kind of like buying a good pair of boots. Your boots are not gonna come with good insole. It just doesn't work that way. You're paying for the boot quality, the leather quality, and the same thing happens with tents. Some of them have a better mattress than others, but for the most part, people end up updating them. We found Hest on the last day of the event, and we sat down on one of these, and it was absolutely incredible. The Alu Cab, as I've said before, doesn't have a horrible mattress. I put a topper on it, but it can definitely be improved. 80% of you that are watching this have not subscribed to the channel consider subscribing. I'm here to do more content like this. I hope it's helpful and it really helps me out if you click the subscribe button. So let's find out if this fits inside of the Alu Cab. So I'm hoping that the Hest being a four inch, it's actually a 3.9 inch, will fit inside of this. So you're asking why can't I just put a one inch mattress or a two inch topper on top of my mattress um, and that'd be like 60 bucks with cheap memory foam or you can even get stuff that's three or four inches thick. The downside of that is one, once you get into like 40, 45 degree range, which is pretty common in Colorado summers, that will turn to stone and you'll have kind of a Han Solo effect going on. Your body heat will loosen some of that foam and you'll make an imprint there overnight. And if you wanna move it all, it's very uncomfortable because you'll have to roll around. It's kind of like rolling around on a rock and you'll have to wait for your body heat to loosen up some of that other foam. And it takes a while. It can take 30 minutes to an hour sometimes, if not more, depending on how cold it is. So foam turns to stone. It's no fun, I can assure you. If you're to buy a backpacking sleeping pad, it will have an R value. The higher the value, the more insulated it is from the ground. If you've ever gone camping and slept on a cheap air mattress from Walmart that cost you 30 bucks, you probably got cold at some point in the night because there's no insulation underneath you. That's the only reason you have as many sleeping bags as you want. You're probably gonna get cold. It's like having air blowing on your back. So uh, R value gets rid of that. So in a lot of sleeping pads, even the inflatable ones, they have an actual insulation design. Most sleeping pads will have an R value published. And what that means is that is basically it's amount of insulation between you and the ground. The sleeping pad I use for backpack hunting is like a 3.8, I believe, which is really low actually, but I sleep on top of that with a quilt and I do pretty good in September in Colorado. It's gotten down to, I think I've, the coldest I've slept is 10 degrees with a sleeping quilt around me and I've been okay. So talking to the owner of Hest at the expo, it's not published, so I can't totally confirm this, but he told me this version he said is probably around 8.9. If this thing's better than my backpack sleeping pad, that is incredible. It's gonna help keep the tent so much warmer. As far as our value goes, I have no idea what the factory mattress in this thing is, but the Hest is gonna be higher than that because this is just a cheap foam. Most rooftop tents come with a cheap foam. Value Cab claims that this is a three inch mattress, 75 millimeter, and then I put a one inch topper on top of that. I have the ladder up there, a fan up there, blankets up there, two pillows up there, and that's pretty much it. But I needed something that would fit in the Hest was the best option that I found. I've done some research on some of the other options that are semi-inflatable. They've got memory foam and they inflate. I personally don't like the possibility that my air mattress could deflate. There's a lot of things that could happen with something that holds air in place. And yes, you can patch them. Yes, they're a little bit cheaper, but that wasn't gonna work for me. So I decided not to do that. And people were deflating them to close the tent, not interested. I reached out to Hest a couple months ago on social media when I first discovered them. I let them know that I was looking for a mattress for my rooftop tent. And I was asking them how thick the foam was on top of the air piece, just in case it was a separate chamber. And they kind of questioned what I was asking because they're like, our, our Hest Dually doesn't actually have air. I didn't realize that. I thought Hest was a similar company to some of the other options out there. Let's just see what we got going on here. I'm so excited and I'm also excited to find out if this will actually fit in my tent. Now you're probably wondering why in the hell would you buy a mattress if you don't know it's gonna fit in your tent. I'm buying an Alu Cab Canopy Camper soon, buying a whole new truck and I'm gonna build a new setup. And I know for a fact this will fit in the Canopy Camper because it's slightly taller on the top shell than this. So I took the gamble, worst case scenario, I gotta wait a couple months before I use this. Oh, I got a Hess sticker. Too cool. The bottom is a firmer foam. The top is a very soft foam. And uh, part of the thing that really surprised me about this, not only is there no air in this, so I don't have to worry about that at all. It's got a washable cover on it. But the other thing is that this foam will not harden at all. When I was talking to them at the Hest booth at the Overland Expo, 
I asked the owner, how much does the foam harden when it gets cold? And he's like, oh, it doesn't. And I, I, miss, I thought he misunderstood what I was asking. And I was like, no, I mean like, does it firm up just a little bit? And he's like, no, it doesn't firm up at all. All right, I'm gonna go through, empty out the tent, pull the old mattress out, and we're gonna find out if this fits inside. Ladder. Here's my custom foam topper. This thing was almost a hundred bucks just for this. It's heavy. And as you can see, it really doesn't do that much for you. I'm sure this is dog hair city. Like the insole on a boot. The shop that I work in is nasty. So I'm trying to keep the mattress off the floor. So this does come with a washable cover. Ooh, man, I'm gonna be really sad if this doesn't fit. This isn't really designed for rooftop tent, but dimensions work out. I know it'll fit. I'm just not sure if it'll close. Let's untie this bad boy and see what happens. Please work. Whew, that's close. I don't know. Oh man, look at this thing. This is two inches shorter than the Alucab factory mattress, but it's also two inches uh, more narrow, but as you can see, it fits really well. Man, I hope this closes. It smells like a new mattress, I'll tell you that. I wanna sit. This thing is leaps and bounds better than the factory mattress. So this mattress is so soft on the top two inches that I think I can still make everything fit. So it's firm on the bottom for two inches and it's soft on the other two inches. So I think I can get some compression out of this and actually be able to put all my stuff back in here. So I'm gonna give that a shot but i'm going to make the bed i'm going to do everything the way i normally have it that way i know for sure because maybe i can close it up now but for me a rooftop tent i gotta have my blankets my pillows and everything in here this is such a better mattress my wife is going to be very pleased so if you haven't looked these up already they are pretty expensive hesta sales time to time backcountry.com has sales time to time they are expensive and good things are not cheap and cheap things are not good. So that's where we're at. If you go to an Overland Expo, go sit on one of these. They've got them set up. Just take a seat. So let's find out if this is still going to close. Just that two inches shorter from my factory mattress made it so much easier to make this bed. There are pockets on the end. For those of you that aren't gonna be using this in a rooftop tent, or even if you are, there are pockets on the end, both here and on the far end, to put a cell phone in or whatever you want to do. And that's perfect for like an Alu cab because there's power built into this so I can charge my phone. And then the other thing is the buckles I was talking about are right here. So it's also got buckles. So when you fold this mattress over, because it folds perfectly in half, you can buckle it up and carry it really easily. So this works for Subarus. This works for tent camping, as long as you got the room for it. Man, I'm so excited about this. Oh. My fan, very important. Let's see. Is it gonna work? Holy smokes. Yes, it works. I am so excited that this is gonna fit in here. So I can confirm that the Hest dually long, not the wide, will fit inside of the Alu cab. I'm so happy. Oh. And this is a sigh of relief because I spent hundreds of dollars on this. I didn't get a YouTuber discount or anything like this on the mattress. I wish I could give out samples of what this mattress feels like. It is incredible how soft it is. I did my recent review on the Alu Cab and I said a lot of good things about it, but I can say that right now that this is the most comfortable tent because this mattress is a huge upgrade. Now I got to figure out what to do with my other mattress. I didn't really think about that. So that sums this up. The Dually long Hest mattress will fit inside the Gen 3 3.1 Gen 3 Type R that is not yet released. And because it'll fit in this, the Alucab Canopy Camper has a slightly taller shell, so I know it'll fit in that. And I actually confirmed that with the Hest uh, manufacturers, but I wasn't sure and they weren't sure about the tent because it is smaller from the factory mattress. I don't care what rooftop tent you have. So now I've upgraded my mattress, I have comfort, and I didn't have to buy an air mattress. I'm sure those are nice, but for my use case, I'm climbing in there with a pocket knife all the time. I've got camera stuff, I've got a dog. I didn't want something getting punctured. This is awesome. This is all foam. Like I said, as soon as I sat on this thing, 
Natalia looked at me and we just knew we had to have one of these, especially after walking 25 miles that weekend. We were so wishing we could have had one of these. They'd sold out at the show. They did not have them there or else I might've bought one there, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit. So it worked out. I got one a couple days later, huge upgrade for the tent. This is like one of the last upgrades I could possibly do to this truck for my use. Because these don't have air and because these will not harden in the cold and because it has a superb R value, this is the best mattress you can get for a rooftop tent right now. Check them out, see if it'll fit your tent. See if it'll fit the back of your truck, whatever you're looking for. I think this is gonna be the best option you can find in the market. Okay, so that is my overview and I guess my install of the Dually Long Hest mattress. Check out the links below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.